Good evening scrappers. Happy Saturday to you all. And it's been a hectic day. Mind you, I had to work driving the concrete truck till around about 1.30 this afternoon. And then I had to spend the rest of what was left of the day squeezing a few pickups. And uh, well, this is what we got. A couple air cons, although one's complete. The other two are just the outdoor box itself. And as you saw just before, this nice bucket of bright and shiny. Two ceiling fans. Uh -huh. This stuff here, high grade cable, including this stuff here. Have a bit of a look at that. That's your hair wire copper inside here. Beautiful, beautiful. This bag here is a mix of, uh, real, it's actually a pretty mixed bag. You got some like high grade here and here, as you can see. And then there's a low grade as well. So it kind of needs a bit of sorting out. Uh, we got this as well. Although I graded this as a um, domestic copper. Because as you can see, it's got plastic on it. Not to mention these um, metal bits on here as well. Okay. Probably got some decent silver chunks on them, maybe. Don't know. Haven't really looked at it, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, we go over here. Just a box of copper as well. Lovely, lovely. Oh, yesterday was another one. I wasn't home, but um, we had uh, those two air cons over there dropped off. And we had this nice ducted unit dropped off, which came with that head unit. And we also had that dropped off. And then we're moving right along to uh, this bag of cable got that dropped off which also had this in here these are high grade bits of cable in here well the bulk of them are but not all of them the bulk of them as you can see it's got these attachments on there but when it dropped it off it's got this plastic bloody protection type of shit on there and got to muck around getting that off so there's no way i could get give him high grade for that crap i'm afraid but i've got to muck around with it and sort it out And that is, oh, there were ceiling fans, but uh, let's not worry about them. They're at the side of the house. So um, keep an eye out, because I've got more collections to do tomorrow. And I'm kind of stuffed at the moment. Oh, not too bad. I could keep going, but I'm not. Have a few cans, have a shower, have dinner, get ready to watch a footy tonight. Happy days. But yes, some more collections to do tomorrow. One is a, um, a nice cable pickup, and I'll share with you that a little later on. So keep an eye out, stick around. Really soon, we'll be back. <laughs> Sit tight. Bang! See, I told you I'd be back. Back in no time whatsoever. Quick as a flash, and you know what? Today is Sunday, and it is approximately 2.30 in the afternoon, and we are finally home from another load of scrap collections this collection is wonderful wonderful xlpe cable some is absolutely chunkers big fats look at it chunked out cable some of it's a little bit thinner but even though thinner it's got the three wires on the inside and as I've experimented before, the three-wire cable is actually quite a productive cable once you strip it. I've learned that in the past. I've done the experiments. Also, we've got this uh, aircon here. That's just something that he had, which was unreal. And um, that there, uh, the other, uh, there was this was from a, a, um, another pickup. The fellow just said, oh, you can take that. And I said, oh, I don't want any coax cable. He said, oh, it's not coax. So I had a closer look and fair enough. It ain't. It's uh, 
tin coated copper cable in there uh, computer stuff he had that ready for me as well I can take it all for free which is great I just take out the circuit board and any other good bits and pieces that I find and that is that now let's just turn the camera oh actually another thing too is once I get in the light here we go now another thing right what I'm going to show you here is my basic setup for when I'm on the road doing my scrap collections it's going to give you a bit of a look and you can see how I go about it but before we do I also got this yeah that's right this was the third pickup it's well it's not an awful lot but um I guess you needed a, uh, a couple of dollars a bit of bright and shiny oh, I was about six kilos I think it was and this here clean clean copper pipe and that was about three 3.2 kilos worth of clean pipe so not too shabby now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass the camera to my great camera assistant and she's gonna be giving you a demo of the setup over there right so I'm back on camera and we have the very experienced cameraman the wife holding the phone now some of you or maybe none of you may be curious as to how do I go about my um, daily scrap collections with a trailer etc what do I do so basically this is what we have this is crank scales here I've got this steel post here out the back if you walk around the side you'll see this the post I have clamped so that way if there's any weight out the front over here on the scales it isn't going to lift up from the back end there and make everything come crashing down which has happened in the past when we forgot to clamp it minor mistake it happens when you're not thinking or you're thinking something else whatever so this is a basic setup I get to the job I'll set it all up just like this as you can see and then we'll go about weighing it on the scales over here and depending on what he's got we have this bucket here small stuff chuck in the bucket or whether it's cable not too much you can chuck it on here throw it on the scales on the, on the, on the scales get your information this bucket weighs 1.65 kilos you can either tear it off here or you can just deduct it once you've weighed it um, if it's a heap of cable then I'll just chuck the large amount of cable in a bulker bag and then we'll just lift up the bag chuck it on here weigh it yada 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 now sometimes with this pickup that we just did all that cable you're thinking well how would you weigh that well come over here and I'll give you a bit of a demo so before you turn that around here's a bit of rope okay I've just cut this specially for the video so what I'll do is it's quite long and very hard to hang up so hang on Dominic so what I'll do is bring the rope together and I'll tie it off like that and there we have it happy days radio now come over to the cable I'll stick it underneath and I'll loop it through like that now we can hold it like this and then we can walk over to the scales and we can weigh it bring it to zero stick it on bingo 14.85 kilos so that's the bit of a demo top stuff back at this setup the other day I was thinking about how I could improve it as the kids run around nearby. I was thinking about how could I improve this kind of setup and it would avoid, um, it would take the, uh, the hassle of 
not really a hassle, like that's kind of part of the job, but the hassle of lifting stuff onto the hook. So while I was driving a concrete truck, I had a bit of an idea. The idea would be, as the kids ride past again, I could stick some kind of bracket in here and maybe something up along here in this corner because this is the sturdy corner. And I could have this beam, maybe make it a touch, have it a bit longer. And then I could fit an elbow on here, radio, a nice long elbow. And then I could stand the post up vertically in these brackets here that I could put on there. And then on the elbow, I could attach maybe a, um, an electric winch of sorts. And then I could put the crane on top of that, the, uh, the crane winch on that. And I reckon that would provide a nice amount of height and some easy lifting power. Come down, can go up, and it can lift things. I reckon that would probably be a pretty uh, effective idea and maybe somewhat rather inexpensive as well. Unless you went the uh, hydraulic, the hydraulic crane arm option. I don't know what they're worth. I haven't looked into it yet. But they were just an idea that I kind of came up with anyway. Let's flip this around and we can wrap this up. And as we get back into the lights, where well, here we are, spinning around in circles. I'm here. And it's time for me to finish up this video because I've got a trailer to unload and chuck it behind that aircon there and it's going to add to a uh, rather large pile of cable that needs to be stripped. Some work ahead that's for sure. Anyway guys, thanks for watching if you did and if you didn't then you haven't missed anything. Anyway, peace out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you can. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for your subscriptions. It is very much appreciated. And for all the long-term stayers, thank you very much. So uh, catch you later in another video. Sooner or later, probably sooner. Have a great week.